Welcome uh, to this uh, short presentation about something very real. So it is about a simple workflow of uh, metadata in uh, photos which are embedded into photos and if this workflow uh, goes across social media systems. So uh, a quite usual workflow is simply is to, to, to write this up. So you're taking a photo, then uh, metadata are added. And you see only very few metadata, actually, uh, in most cases, only the uh, date and time when the picture was taken is already embedded into the metadata at the moment when taking a photo. So there is an effort. You, the, the photographer or the agency has to spend some time on adding the meta metadata to it and to embed them. That means uh, there must be a good reason, and the good reason is to describe the photo, but also to claim some uh, rights-relevant information. That means who has the copyright, who is the creator, and uh, also some usage terms. Uh, mostly in the uh, in the uh, <coughs> copyright notice. Okay, so when this has been done, you spread this to other parties. So if you look at this, uh, this is how it usually looks like. You uh, forward your photo to some distribution system, and then your photos go uh, to some receivers and users. Okay, that's the simple. Uh, case the more elaborate case is you embed metadata. Uh, I've shown this as simply the word metadata in the slide. And so this is the intention. Uh, the metadata go with the pixels. So you don't have to uh, move this separately. You don't distribute this separately. Uh, and even as this has been mentioned today, if you have an identifier for a photo which should go, which represents an entry in a registry, this also has to be embedded. And therefore, is some kind of metadata which is embedded into this photo. OK. So how does this work now with social media systems? So you upload a photo to a social media system, and then you have two opportunities um, to, to make use of it. Well, the first opportunity is, uh, I think, for many people, this is uh, sufficient to share it with others for viewing. So they would like that others have a look at this. But we have to be uh, real people and not naive and say, OK, at the moment when an image is shown on a web page, in most cases, you can save it as uh, an image file. So uh, the browsers provide their uh, menu feature uh, which lets you, if you see a photo, you click on it and then you open the context menu and, and say save as. There are a few uh, systems we found out which uh, prevent doing this, which disable these features, but many systems allow what the browser enables you to do. And uh, the second opportunity is uh, there are some social media systems which have an explicit download feature. That means there is somewhere a button, there is somewhere a list of uh, menu-like items, what you can do with the image, and this includes there uh, such a download feature. Okay, so uh, what we have tested now is simply that we said, OK, let's see what happens in this work uh, workflow going through. So the first test is we have looked at what has been uploaded. Uh, are metadata shown on the user interface? And if they are shown, are they shown correctly? That means, uh, is there a label which indicates, for instance, uh, this uh, photo was taken by a person or party? And is this the value of the embedded metadata? or the, uh, the dates created. OK, secondly, we checked if there are four relevant uh, uh, fields are shown. That are the copyright field, credit, creator field, and the caption description field. And then, uh, as explained before, we try to save as or to download an image. And when it has been saved on a local computer, so not on the system, but on a local computer, we looked into the image file and checked there, are there still embedded metadata? So technically, they are in headers embedded. And so let's see, are they still in the headers? And that are the results we found there. So we followed a traffic 
light indication. So green means everything is okay. Uh, uh, yellow means well, not everything is okay, but it looks not so bad. And red means, yeah, to be, uh, sorry to tell, but that looks bad. So you see there we have there are 15, uh, 15 social media systems we checked, and the, there you see the results. So they are quite mixed. There are some which have a long line of uh, greens uh, lights, but others also have a long line of uh, red lights. That means uh, they are particularly in this section here. That means if you download an image, uh, the metadata are gone. They are not embedded anymore. So you see that the results for 500 pixels, they are simply in lexical order. So you see Facebook and Flickr, yeah, they could perform better. Google does quite well. Uh, we have tested large and small ones. So we will try to find out which are quite common in this area. So we have the image lead, Jumeo, Photobucket, Pictify, Pinterest is more widely used. And the gray means there was no possibility to test this because either you cannot download or you cannot save as an image. Or if it's uh, displays correctly, if nothing is displayed, we cannot say correct or incorrect. Okay, the, the, the second group, and that's the third group. So Tumblr, more widely used system, Quite well, Twitter, okay, metadata or gun. Why frog, better. So uh, you may ask, uh, can I look at this elsewhere? Okay, you can do. So if you uh, go to the embeddeddata.org site, uh, so this is a distinct site, but is managed by the IPDC because it's the home of the embedded metadata manifesto, which encourages both photographers to embed metadata into the images, but also encourages uh, systems which are using these photos uh, to keep them in and not to strip them out. Thank you. <laughs>